Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about HDP CA or HDP Certified Administrator exam. Um, uh, under high availability we already seen how to configure name rod uh, HA and as part of this video we will see how to configure the resource manager HA. If you want uh, the reference material you can click on this link and uh, it will take you to the details about uh, the high availability and here is the resource manager high availability okay so uh, relative to name node high availability resource manager or uh, high server high availability is pretty straightforward uh, you just go to um, HDP uh, uh, you just go to Ambadi click on yarn so uh, if you are familiar with classic high availability is not uh, supported with job tracker which is the master in classic whereas in uh, yarn resource manager not only lightweight but also you can actually uh, have high availability configured against the resource manager and as of now the cluster have um, uh, resource manager and app timeline server running on one node in the cluster and then node managers are running on three nodes which are slaves in the cluster so you can click on this url and see which host it is running so 39 is the host on which resource manager is running now i want to configure high availability for the resource manager it is to automatically fail over in case the resource manager goes down if the resource manager goes down you cannot submit the jobs by having the high availability configuration it will fail over to the surviving uh, resource manager and uh, you will be able to submit the jobs without any issues uh, again uh, click on the service actions go to enable resource manager HA this wizard will walk you read this and understand uh, it thoroughly so this wizard will walk you through enabling resource manager HA on your cluster once enabled you will be running a standby resource manager in addition to your active resource manager this allows for an active standby resource manager configuration that automatically performs failover you should plan a cluster maintenance window and prepare for cluster downtime when enabling resource manager HA. Because when you are enabling resource manager HA, you will not be able to run jobs um, because you have to bring down the uh, uh, resource manager while configuring it. Hence, you have to get the downtime for your cluster for any uh, uh, downtime uh, sorry any high availability configuration such as name node uh, or resource manager click on next and uh, i want to have one on 39 and another on 38 so hence i have configured 38 as the additional resource manager click on next and again here you can see that yarn resource manager HA is enabled and uh, here we don't have the namespace directly we are giving the uh, uh, resource manager IDs and then uh, uh, the resource manager uh, uh, IP address this is one resource manager IP address and then this is another resource manager IP address okay and again we need to have the controllers uh, for the transparent failover uh, hence we have to uh, define what is the class uh, for the controller and then this is supported by zookeeper any high availability in uh, hadoop ecosystem is supported by zookeeper uh, we already have the zookeeper so we are using the existing zookeeper which are running on 38 39 and 40 so it is stopping the required services you can click on this to review what all services will be stopped it only stops uh, the the services which will be impacted with the resource manager high availability if you see it is not stopping any name node or hive related stuff it is only stopping the services that are dependent on the resource manager directly So starting the services will take time because uh, if you look into the details you can see it is running the checks so for each and every component it is actually validating um, uh, one component at a time it has validated spark now it is validating pig if you want to review you can click on this and see what is going on 
right now it is running some uh, application uh, pig based and we can also access it uh, through this url but as i am using ambari sorry as i am using aws for this i have to uh, use ssh tunneling so here i am uh, running ssh tunneling and then uh, tools foxy proxy yammer socks then use this url copy paste it here hit enter and you can see that the application is running it is in the accepted state but it is actually not submitting the job for some reason so it 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 happens sometimes it will struck for whatever reason it is and uh, uh, if it is struck like this it will take little bit of time to come back to the normalcy sometimes it is a trivial issue uh, uh, or temporary issue sometimes it could be permanent issue we have to troubleshoot and we have to resolve the issue so right now let's wait and see if it will be able to start all the services so right now it is stuck at check pig also my cluster is not uh, a very high end cluster so probably it is due to uh, the resource contention also but we have to wait until either it fails or or the job is successful here job is not successful so what i can do is i can kill this job by running yarn application something is wrong in the cluster i don't know what okay it has failed so when it fails let me disable the foxy proxy and again let me retry i think uh, there is some network related issue or something on the aws i'm not sure why it failed we will run again and we will see what is the issue mostly it could be the memory issues i feel so let me see if the yarn applications are running yeah so there are few things that are running let me kill those things yarn application kill okay so there is one job which is making it hanged after killing the first one if you see the second one is already finished so now i think it will be fine okay for some reason one of the jobs got struck and the subsequent jobs are waiting on the first one to complete uh, that's where the issue is now let's see so now you can see that job is running without issues 
okay so it will take a little while to complete the job but it is running this time compared to last time where, where, uh, where it has struck uh, to start the job itself okay now it is succeeded now it has it is testing scope and then it will test test it will check hive and finally and all the services will be started successfully so last time why it has failed is there is once uh, some job which got struck in the middle and it is causing the issues for the others i think uh, that is due to uh, after uh, enabling the high availability on name mode i have validated hive queries and i think those hive queries uh, have um, uh, 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 have grabbed the resources and those are not uh, uh, and those are not released when i kill that application everything is successfully done so now we will see that all the services are being started without any issues few final checks now it is trying to check hive once it is done our uh, resource manager hive availability also will be configured successfully so it is also done all the services have started now click on complete and we will review the parameters going to and site and uh, map it site dot xml to wrap up we don't need to validate that extensively but in uh, in the actual project you have to validate all the ref uh, all the applications by performing smoke tests after making these uh, changes such as enabling the high availability configuration okay now go to the cluster go to one of the nodes and go to etc hadoop cons ls minus ltr u coset dot xml and i'm not sure why it is updated let I, I don't think it will be updated let's validate yeah and set dot xml so earlier we used to have the resource manager address i think this one is uh, it, it is not deployed here let us go to the another node in the cluster let's try going to 38 where the high availability uh, where the resource manager is running okay we will go to 39 cd etc hadoop conf and then view and site dot x and hyphen site dot xml and here okay it has a 39 resource manager address as 39 ec2 internal only with port number 8050 because we don't have the namespace here it, uh, it will be like this okay so this is uh, this is what will actually determine the failover so here we are actually specifying um, high availability resource manager ids rm1 and rm2 and uh, then you can actually search for rm1 so rm1 uh, uh, ip address is this one Similarly, we'll have RM2 IP addresses also. RM2 IP address and other details. So again, if you have to configure uh, resource manager high availability, high availability manually, uh, you have to update these files by defining the RM IDs and defining the host names uh, with uh, the suffix uh, uh, resource manager IDs. And then you have to take care of few other parameters also you can validate them by saying grep rm ansite.xml 
so these are the parameters which you need to define and also you might have to up, update few parameters in map it site dot xml also in no there is no parameters which needs to be modified in map it site because we uh, resource manager is completely yarn related um, component we have to update only yarn site dot xml file so this is how you can actually enable high availability of resource manager uh, in your cluster it is very straightforward the key is to validate all your applications to make sure that uh, it uh, the urls are not hard coded with the resource manager uh, ip addresses anywhere in your jobs which is highly unlikely unlike name node which is quite common to have the urls hard coded with uh, with uh, name node ip address uh, when you configure with name node secondary name node configuration uh, and when you actually go to high availability you have to change those things to namespace but for resource manager high availability you don't need to take care unless um, by mistake you have hard coded somewhere that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about uh, certifications or uh, some big data please join my linkedin groups itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time and before wrapping up uh, you can see the active resource manager and standby resource manager running we can also click on this one and stop the active one and the standby will become active you can do that uh, as well once you enable the high availability at resource manager thank you bye